Hello everyone, I'm the French Monk and welcome to my first Sword and Musket update video of 2022. Are you guys ready for more gameplay footage and behind the scenes details on this lovely work in progress? I sure am excited and I can't wait to delve back into this mod. Now for this particular update video we are going to check out what the team has been up to these past few months as well as their more recent developer blogs including 1.0.4 Sound and Voices which was released back in January and developer blog 1.0.5 What Have We Achieved So Far 2021 released back in February and which is more of a recap of their work in the past year. Now for those of you that are interested in learning more on this upcoming revolutionary slash Napoleonic Wars mod for Bannerlord, I'll be referring you to a playlist I've made over the past year with quite a few videos, some featuring visuals and bits of information coming to me straight from the developers themselves. So, if you happen to stumble on this video and you want to learn more about the project, you can get up to speed right here and there will also be many a link in the video description. Now, where were we? Oh yeah. The last time we checked out this mod, which has been a while, we got treated with two developer blogs showing us the work the developers have been doing for the 7 months prior to set update. They were working on uniforms and flags of the 45e Infanterie Regiment de Ligne and the 35th Royal Sussex Regiment of Foot, including all the private, sergeant and officer ranks. They managed to play sounds, work on animations, as well as a variety of maps which will show up in the future, as well as tons of props. An item on the list that kept reoccurring in their developer blogs were the inevitable setbacks that the Sword and Musket team had, though communication with Tailworlds as well as their help on some of these items helped them get to where they are now. It has to be mentioned that the release of this mod still depends on Tailworlds and their decision to release the modding tools. Now for this video we'll approach the developer blogs one at a time and I'll make sure to provide you guys with some timestamps. Firstly, developer blog 1.0.4 goes in details about the sounds and voices that are going to be used when playing this mod. Aside from that, as mentioned, we're also shown a bit more gameplay footage. Now I'll be linking the official developer blog in the description down below if you want to listen to the sound effects. The narrator does speak over these in their video, hence the reason why I can't show you or let you listen to them because you'd be hearing two people talking at the same time. So for sound effects they recorded original musket shots, reloads, cannon sound effects, as well as sound effects for the impact of these rounds when they hit the dirt and when the rounds whiz over or next to you. Something they're planning to customize as well are the footsteps the characters will make. They want these to be distinguishable and I believe they're referring to the sounds you're making when you're playing as a soldier of the Napoleonic era with your gear and your weaponry of that time. As you sound vastly different when wearing medieval armor versus the gear Napoleonic Wars troops use. At least that's what I'm getting from that. There will also be specific victory music sets for each nation. Aside from that, a playlist of 18th 19th century classical music has been set up with a nice variety in mood. You'll have heroic pieces, romantic and so on. And these will serve as the background music when fighting battles. This was the community's choice, apparent from the sword and musket poles that were made by the modding team. Now something I'm definitely looking forward to is the implementation of the musket and melee combat that comes with it and how close they're going to be able to make it in comparison to Mountain Blade Napoleon Wars. A game that in my opinion still has the best gameplay to offer in terms of close combat within the niche. I was told by the creative producer that their mechanics will be exactly 60% similar to the DLC expansion pack for Warband, so we'll have to see how that goes, though from the looks of it, it's pretty similar. Developer blog 1.0.5, which is the most recent of blogs released by the modding team, goes into depth on the team behind the work, acknowledging the incredible attention to detail, as well as the historical research that goes into the project with the aim of providing us with a Napoleonic Wars mod for Bannerlord. The team mentions in this video that it encountered problems in the animations department, and we saw this specifically in the starting phase. I received several comments worried about the animations myself, but that having said, things are looking up, especially the reload animation which is finally working after 7 long months. It looks really cool and I'm really happy for them that they managed to get it fixed. It's an incredibly challenging process to just introduce a new era to Bannerlord, especially when you're working with more modern fire weapons like muskets and rifles 
as opposed to the bow and arrow and crossbows from your typical medieval era. It's the animations that, when they work and fit, will be able to immerse and convince the player into the specific time period that you're going with. I'm referring to this scene of course at the start of the project and you can definitely see the steps they're making on this front. In terms of user interface, I received the following information from creative producer Lucom. Besides the launcher, they're planning a regimental battalion slash company system, and I believe this is according to the clan system in Bannerlord. Except for multiplayer, it will be arranged in a different way, and the regiments will receive an interface where the players can organize them more, thus you'll be able to divide the regiments, battalions and companies into detachments. This goes as far as being able to assign officer, non-commissioned officer, and other ranks. And this is all still a work in progress. So there you have it, some more bits and pieces of the puzzle that is this upcoming Napoleonic Wars mod for Bannerlord. It's really exciting and refreshing to post these kind of videos because I get to talk about new things and show you guys these awesome works as well as help out the developers with bringing out the word and such. I was also told to mention that the team is working on their own forum site. Sadly, I can't share it with you yet. It will be similar, however, to the Tail Worlds forum and an announcement on it will come shortly. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video and you want to stay up to date on Sword and Musket, I invite you to click the subscribe button down below. It only takes a second. And should you wish to unsubscribe at a later point in time, you can always do so. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.